when it comes down to asset monitoring and just continuously monitoring a company for bug bounty purposes it is really important to have the best possible data and also being in charge of what data you collect and how it's presented to you so in this video what i want to do is i want to talk about what are some different ways that you can actually find the best and cleanest tls or certificate data and how you can also have your own setup to collect these data sets especially if you're going after a company like paypal yahoo that they have their own asn and you don't have to worry so much about scanning assets in the cloud not that you don't have to worry about it but it's also a part of the game scanning assets in the cloud when you're going after azure gcp and aws just the top three players it is a really hard task and it takes a lot of patience and costs a lot of money don't worry if you're also a hacker on a budget you're just starting out in bug bounties but you don't want to spend the money or you don't have the money to reinvest yet don't worry i'm going to have some solutions for you i personally don't think those are the best especially if you're trying to be the first to discover an asset that may have been spun up by a specific company so let's first talk about your public sources that most of you probably know about those are your census your shodan your cert data sage those are very very good resources if your purpose of recon is to just find assets to hack on this is not to be the first to find an asset you're just running cert data sage you're just going after shodan you're going after census just to find additional assets not even assets just additional applications that you can hack on so let's say you're hacking on for example airbnb you want to find other smaller micro applications that airbnb owns and you want to hack on them and find the traditional web phones that's kind of what i usually do i do a little bit of mix of both nowadays a little bit more now but that is just a, the traditional way that i push my students and people that are just getting started in bug bounties to do those solutions are great for that purpose you don't need to do anything fancy because you just don't need it at this time now let's say that you have done all of that and you are ready to step your game up or maybe you're just doing this for some other purpose maybe it's for your company whatever that case may be or your pen tester let's just say that you want to find a way to be notified when something goes up well this is where you have to start monitoring assets you can monitor the specific domain using tls data i've done a whole video on it i've just actually golden ones tool and we've talked about it in a previous video i'll link it down below to go watch it but i think it goes beyond that because when you have a piece of dns data let's say you have a subdomain that is given to you based on subfinder or maybe you are just using some tools to monitor the entire database of certificate transparency data but you don't usually have the ip associated with that so if you look at your cert data sage you don't usually get the ip addresses of these data it's just as soon as a certificate is issued it goes into the database you just don't know if there's an ip associated with that specific domain the other thing is even if you have the ip address sometimes it may not be your additional ssl port so usually when you go on a website https.site.com it is going to go to port 443 and that's where the certificate is located but sometimes you're going to have applications that are running on different ports like your 8443 example for yahoo it's 4443 you have your 8000 8888 you have all these different ports and if you don't have that data it is kind of useless and you can't really do a whole lot with it either but now you have the other the third option that is also free that is a bunch of the german hackers i want to say that put this website together and when you go to this website they are showing you a bunch of these dns data what they're doing here is exactly what i want to show you to do on your own but what they're doing is just they're scanning all these big players in the cloud infrastructure your aws your gcp and your azure and they're just dumping their raw data into a json file that you can download and use it there is some pros and cons to this it's great that it's free data anyone can download it and anybody can use it but the downside of that is that you don't know how often they're scanning and even if you know how often it is it may not be often enough so you also have the chance of missing some assets that may have gone up for a couple of days and then taken back down because they missed it during their scanning time so that's also another downside but then the other one is they're still probably doing port 443 and not every ip is going to be running a web app on that specific port so you're missing on a ton of data on these other ports which in this case i think shodan does a good job of showing those ports but again the data on shodan isn't up to date and it's going to take them a while to scan the entire internet and push it to their database i want to kind of talk about the free approach to doing this before we jump into the fun of taking a ip space like yahoo's or paypal's and then scanning it for different certs and then looking at different ports and so on to do this i am going to use the axe or axiom framework that i just did a video on last week if you haven't checked it out go check it out already but 
we're gonna use axiom framework and i'm just gonna do a select and select all of the instances in my fleet which there's about 20 of them that i've spun up these are just basic boxes that we want to distribute the workload into these machines so it's going to take the inputs from my ips right here and it's going to distribute all of this into these different machines and scan or do whatever task that we want it to but before we do that we do have to do a couple of things to make our tooling work what i want to do here is i want to execute a command to install this tool called caduceus caduceus i hope i'm saying that right by golden and we're just going to install this within our machine don't worry if you don't want to use this tool that's completely fine you can also use something like tlsx uh, and use the tool by project discovery i just prefer this one instead we're just going to run it and what this is going to do is it's going to connect to all of our different machines and it's going to start installing them on those machines as we go so you can see it is doing that right now it's going to take a couple of seconds and then when it's done we can test for it and see if it's there and then start feeding it our ips or just look for a target to go after so now it looks like this is done and to make sure that our tool is installed we're just going to call this this is the path that uh, axiom is going to actually install this by default and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to call the help flag to just make sure this exists before we start to do anything with it so right now it's going to come back and we can see that it's printing all the different help menus perfect we know that this works now there's one more thing we have to do and that is to create a different module for it which is to just teach axiom how to use this thing so what i'm going to do here is i've created this you can actually you look at something like your tlsx for example and see what they have done it's pretty similar what it's doing is it's going to just have an extension for the output which we're not going to have an output for this one for this example we're just going to write everything to a file and here you also have what you're doing is saying cat input this is the input that we're going to give it and then we're just going to feed that into this tool so this is pretty simple you just have to put that in there in order to make it work with axiom but now before we do this we need to pick a target what is the target that we're going to go after and what are the different ports that we want to scan All right but before we jump into using axiom we do need to understand how does caduceus 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 work so what we're going to do here is i've already kind of cleaned up my ip addresses i went in through ip info and got a list of these ips and this is what it looks like i want to just extract the first uh few sets of digits before the spaces you can do that with cut but because it is a weird text format i'm going to do awk instead so we're going to do this and we're going to say hey i want you to print the first set of characters before the spaces if i do zero it's going to print the whole thing if we do a one it's just going to give us the first one and if we do two for example the second but right now with one we're good to go and i'm just going to throw these into input.txt and now we have a list of ip addresses but before we go even a step further i want to grab an ip address like right here and i want to show you how this tool works so if you just echo this into the tool by default it is just going to give you a list of the domains that are associated with each ip that it is actually scanning and you know this is not bad it's pretty good but we can do better what we can do here is we can actually have it format all of this into a json format this also isn't bad you can dump all this into a file and then maybe move them to a database or just extract them later but there's also a different and better way to do it which is also by just giving a port if you wanted to but what we want to do here is we want to use jq and extract the domains that we're doing so here i'm actually going to delete this before i show you the final results and show you what it looks like and if i do this it is just going to print the domains as we can see right here but we also want the ip address we can also ask it for ports we will just do that in just a bit but we also want the ip address so what we're asking it to do is here is saying hey i want you to extract the domains from that blob that we just saw from all the arrays and then assign a domain and then later we wanted you to print domains which we have already here but also i want you to extract the origin ip which if we look at the data up here the first thing that it shows us is the origin ip of where the uh, certificate or the data was coming from and then i want you to print it in this format so it's going to give us a domain with a comma and ip address coming next and if we run it right away you can see that we have this data that we can use so now we have a better set of data now we know what domains are associated with what ip address which is what we wanted to do now that we understand how everything works we got to put it all together and put it into our module for caduceus which you can see right here you want to make sure your command is properly formatted in a json output or a json format by escaping this quote and this slash right here and making sure that it looks fine or otherwise it's not going to do it and you can see right here i can specify any ports that i want so we can go in here actually and make this whatever port that we want i'm going to actually 
change it from 8443 and 4443. This is something I was playing with before the video, but now we can say, hey, I want you to scan for port 8080 and 443. And as soon as we launch another scan, it is going to start going through the entire IP ranges that we have given it and start scanning it, starting with port 443, writing it to our output, and then later moving to our second port and start just dumping all this data for us. And you can see some of these domains that are sitting on these IP addresses may not even be yahoo.com but it may actually belong to yahoo or be an acquisition or uh something of that sort so that's a basic overview of how you can actually take some of these data and some of these ip addresses and get your own clean data but just using a framework like axiom and if you really wanted to go a step further what you can do is you can actually do the same thing using the aws ranges so if i go to my recon data aws i have all the data for this right here you can see that i have all the ips right here and i can actually scan all of the aws ranges which i do not recommend doing on your own because this one takes a lot of time to do it and two it is also very expensive to keep this running for days at a time because right now i'm running 21 machines at five dollars per machine a month is about a hundred dollars a month so if you don't want to spend that much money just remember this is going to be running for a very long time and you have to pay for the usage so let's just go ahead and do the same thing here i'm going to do a uh, scan with caduceus and i'm actually going to change the ports for it from 443 to 8443 because i want to just look at the data that's on these ranges by just looking at 443 and kind of show you what data you can get by just doing an axiom scan and running into an output two and now we're going to run the scan it's going to distribute it towards all of our 21 machines and we're going to slowly start getting tls data from all of aws which again i don't recommend because you're also getting data from assets that you shouldn't probably be scanning but it is a method of scanning of its own and as you can see it just starts printing out a bunch of data but instead now we're just focusing on port 8443 and get all the data for it so just imagine you find a zero day or you're working on some specific project that you look at a specific port because the service that you're looking for runs on that specific port and you can just scan an entire company's infrastructure or the cloud to find those specific assets so i just kind of want to talk about the two if you want to learn more about scanning aws and azure and all the cloud spaces i've done a couple of talks on these i think i did one in 2020 at the red team village and then in 2022 or 2023 at the cloud village i've talked about all of these i'll link them down below for you to check them out but i kind of want to just give you the different options and approaches when it comes down to scanning for different ranges so yeah that was it that was the entire video let me know down in the comments do you want to see more recon tricks like this one do you want me to make a part two of this do you want to do more in-depth looking at this kind of data let me know in the comments and if you haven't already do me a favor hit that subscribe button become a now homie and let's get to 150k by the end of the year all right that's it see you all in next week's video peace